Hello everyone, it is Aaron Foda here, and um, you're probably saying to yourself, hey, didn't you just do a planner stack, planner lineup video, and this notebook was not in it? Yes. Didn't you just say in your 2024 setup, you're primarily doing everything in one notebook? Also, yes. Um, and then, um, well, what? okay, so <laughs> I uh typically work with a company every single year doing a setup video for January. So I had already set up January and it was primarily washi tape and I didn't use any of the products from that particular company. So when they reached out to me and I love working with this company so I was not going to pass up on the opportunity because they are such a sweet company. I have had an amazing experience with them all the time. So I decided, what could I use a notebook for? <laughs> and so um, I broke out this baby and I decided, you know what? I could really use a notebook for my finances. So I'm just going to skip through the front here because I haven't figured out what I'm doing for a 2024 setup yet. So I set up this baby for January, um, where I have a monthly calendar, I have a financial dashboard, and I have a weekly, um, a weekly setup. So let me talk through this a little bit. So one of the reasons why I was like, okay, well, I can definitely use a financial planner is because my partner and I are saving up for a ton of things right now. We're saving up for buying a bigger house. We're saving up for getting married. Um, we are setting up um, for a ton of things that we are just, we need to save money. And so there's a lot of things that we can do to save money and to like take a look. We, we have been saving money. We've been saving money a lot, but I've, I, have talked about this before. We don't use budgets <laughs> at all. Um, so that's why there is no budget in here because I have a really good idea of how, how things look financially. And if I want to spend extra money because it's something that I really need, want, desire of some sort, then I am willing to spend that extra money. However, um, there are some things where I feel like we could cut back on takeout coffees, for example. Um, we are pretty bad <laughs> about getting takeout coffees. So there's a couple things that I just, I want to have in my brain. And I would also like to um, just kind of get a snapshot of how much things are costing us right now. Because especially with inflation and all that kind of stuff, I think we're spending a little bit more than we used to just because of all those things. And maybe there is a cost saving measure somewhere in there. So I have my calendar up here. Um, so this calendar I'm going to use to mark down what bills are due when. I have pretty much everything on auto pay except for my uh, electricity bill. And that's because they try to charge me $2,500 when they weren't legally allowed to try to charge me $2,500. So I have taken that off of auto pay um, to make sure that I can keep an eye on them because they are doing some shady stuff and I can't really just up and change my electric company. Um, I had to get the state involved, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so that is where I'm going to be able to take a look at what things are due and when they're due. Most things are due on the first, um, I'm not one of those people that needs to set payments, you know, halfway through the month. I am fine with a whole chunk of money getting taken out on the first. Um, I'm very fortunate to be in that position. Again, I have been saving money for a very, very long time and I am very good at saving money. So, um, and I have a very good paying job, so that doesn't hurt, right? So, um, most of the things are getting taken out on the first. I wonder if I didn't leave enough room but I think I can do icons and not be super pressed about it because I do have this financial dashboard. So that's what I'm using the calendar for. And then I also have a coming up. So next month, what are some things 
coming up that are like large expenses. For example, um, I don't typically go to weddings every single month, right? But in December, my partner and I are going to a wedding. So that is an added expense for, um, you know, the dress, uh, for a gift for the couple and, and, um, for my partner's ties and he had to change pants because he lost weight. So, so things like that. So there's added expenses there that aren't normally added. So I wouldn't put my bills information down here, but I would put things that are other items that are coming up that, um, might have an added cost. Uh, we are planning to go down to Florida in March. So that's going to be a big expense, um, that we have saved up for and that we have points for. Um, but to make sure that we are aware of things coming up that aren't normally in our financial spending. So that is how I'm using this calendar setup. I did do some waterfall tabs. I did them incorrectly though, because, um, I should have done one more waterfall tab over here, but it's fine. I, I'm not hard pressed on it. So that is my calendar. And then I have this financial dashboard. I looked on Etsy for the, like a bunch of finance dashboards and financial um, spreadsheets to find out a, a potential dashboard for myself. So I have an overview. So this is going to be the monthly overview. So how much is in, how much is out? And that's very simply how much that's going to be. Um, and I'll probably do how much is coming in from work and then how much is coming in from business um, and then how much is getting spent out. Uh, then I have cash flow and a space for income, a space for bills. I gave this a ton of room, even though I don't think that I have that many bills, but I will also put things like subscriptions and other types of items that um, could be viewed as expenses, but since they happen every month, I'll probably just look at them as bills. Um, I'm thinking like uh, we have a Hulu subscription, right? So that will go under bills instead of expenses. Uh, debt. So the one debt that I have is really the loan that we took out. My car is paid off. My partner's car is paid off. This house obviously is in debt. I'm paying my mortgage. Um, so I'll also look at that. But otherwise, we don't have like severe credit card debt or anything like that. So I don't think I need this, like a ton of room in this space. So if I need to add something, I can always add something at the bottom there. Here is the general expenses. I think this is enough room. To be honest, I swipe my card a lot. Uh, I use my credit card for everything and then I pay off my credit card. Because um, one, it gives me points. Two, um, and by the way, none of this is financial advice. I am not qualified. I just know what has worked for me. <laughs> so that is my caveat there. I have no clue what I'm doing. Most of the stuff that I have set up is literally because my dad set it up for me and he is a whiz at finances. So if you want to contact my dad, then that's probably the person to contact, not me. So I think that this is enough space for the expenses. If not, I do have something on the weekly finances where I can add space for additional expenses. So I have that expenses. I have the budget versus actual. Honestly, like I mentioned, I don't really do the budgeting aspect. Um, for example, some months there's some additional bills. So we may be having some extra spending. I honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this column. I put it in there because that's what was on the Excel spreadsheet. But again, we don't really budget. Maybe if we do like start budgeting certain items, like, um, oh, I don't want to spend more than X amount of dollars on takeout coffee, then maybe I can do this. So I think this is going to be very catered to very specific things we are trying to limit our money on. And then I have a breakdown basically, um, again, income versus bills versus expenses versus debt and then having the breakdown of how, what percentage is what. So that is my financial dashboard. Again, 
This is my first time ever doing it for my whole personal side. I have done many finances for my business, but for personal, I haven't really done it. So this is how I've set it up for now. I may change it, especially because this is a TN. So, and I did waterfall tabs, which doesn't really help. So I didn't have a ton of space to do this. To be honest, income, bills, expenses, and debt, an overview are probably the ones that I could use the most. The other ones, probably not so much. And so I may change that in future months. So that is the financial dashboard. And then I have a weekly. So I was trying to think about another spread that I could include because I'm really trying to get most of my stuff done in this dashboard, right? I, I really don't want to go crazy with this notebook but it is something that I've always said when I want to focus on it I usually break it out into a new notebook so I have space for each day of the week and so if there's any I, I can put like my total spending on this day I could put um, the bills that are due on this day so this is only related to finances so a breakdown of what the weekly finances were so uh, incomes, expenses, and I can color code for those. And then this is a to-do to -do list specifically related to finances. Uh, pay the mortgage, right? So if it's the first of the month, paying my mortgage, again, it's auto paid. But checking in on it is important, right? So then pay the mortgage. I will be on that to-do list. And then I can also have space for other items on here as well. I don't think I will do this every single week. I think that when a lot of financial things are happening, which I would know because of this calendar, then I may want to do a weekly for that particular week. That way I can break down all of those finances, the to-do list, all that kind of stuff. So that's my general concept when it comes to this planner. Again, I have not worked very thoroughly with any sort of financial planner and I will also probably get a budget planner like on online um that way and like my bank has it all that kind of stuff but it, obviously my bank only has what is being given into the bank and out of the bank I have um I do have my 401k, I do have my retirement account, all that kind of stuff. So there's other things that aren't, that Chase doesn't take into consideration when having to do with my finances just because they're in different spots. So that is my overall idea for the financial planner. Again, I will probably get a budget planner that's online, um, that's like in spreadsheet form that will be a little bit easier, but right now, this is my general concept. So um, thanks for joining me for me not being able to help myself and getting yet another notebook. But I really, uh, I really do enjoy breaking things out when it's something that I want to focus on. And like I said, we are trying to save a bunch of money. So I would like to focus on that. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you have other ideas that I haven't really taken into consideration, uh, please let me know in the comments down below if there's like, oh, you're a big finance person. I'm, I'm not talking about like trading stocks. I'm not doing any of that. Um, don't mention a thing about crypto. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, but if there's some spreads that like have really helped you in your financial journey, um, definitely let me know down in the comments. I would love to um, see it, especially if you have like a link to an Instagram page or something that has that particular spread. I would love to see that. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.